So, good morning. Well, it wasn't a good morning for me. Um, my fucking broke down. Absolute nightmare. Still not sure what's wrong with it. I've only ever fished this venue once before. There's a link above. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description below. This That was done on the GoPro. It's not a very good video, to be honest with you. It, um, a lash down with rain. And, um, yeah, the quality's not that great. But... You might get the same from it. I come second overall with £107, I believe £109 won it. Anyway, let's go for this um, match. So I've drawn peg 38, well, Jay's drawn me 38, which I was told is an absolute fantastic peg. Um, so I was looking forward to it, even though I was a little bit stressed of after getting here late and trying to kit up a million miles an hour. I only have one welly, so that's another story. Um, so lucky enough, I've had a tench, um, but carp have been a bit of a nightmare. But they all swim together, so what do we call it? Sometimes you just gotta, you know, sort of fish through it, which can be quite difficult at times. So when you constantly catching carp that don't count, um, because basically this is a two-day event. It's the first day I got a fish for silvers, and then next day I fish for carp, and vice versa. So Jason Crump's my partner. He's fishing for carp today, he's drawn by 23 and then 38. So I think we've drawn all right, so the locals tell us. But, you know, I don't, I don't know the venue. I'm definitely no expert at fishing and I'm definitely no expert on acorns. So I'm not going to paint that picture. So rigs wise, I've used a 0.6 gram uh, float. Uh, I've got 014 mainline fishing an 09 hook length and one mil. Um, hybrid elastic and I'm just basically fishing about 10 meters just just on just off the slope that's what I was told to fish um, and basically using Hinder's seafood ground bait which is pretty much the only ground bait I ever use on my commercial fishing um, and put some dead maggots and casters in it a little bit reluctant to cut up worms because it's been so cold we had so much rain on Thursday and hail and stuff, I was worried it might put, put, put the fish off. And again, not knowing the venue, wasn't exactly sure what to do. Um, and also I sort of fed one line with two balls and then one line with one ball. And I fed short as well. I never caught short to begin with. Um, took a while to catch. Um, sort of fish sort of give themselves away. You get like, if you, when you feed, you sort of know when they're on it, on the ground bait because you will get like little bubbles and stuff so it's important which i figured out maybe a bit too late to like basically top up with a positive ball and then leave it and then go on it and then basically fish it out now some of the lads were feeding quite a lot of maggots short um which i sort of found out after the event which is you know come to these events take on the locals they're probably gonna get a bit of a thump in So it's quite deep on the track here, it's about six foot, but that's where a lot of anglers like uh, were feeding, loose feeding maggots quite heavily, um, sort of like sort of five, six metre line. And sometimes I've noticed even, even shorter, so that's something I definitely sort of like missed out on. I loose fed cast is quite heavy, and then I've caught some tench late, um, which did save my bacon, to be honest with you. Um, the tench were quite big. I probably had three tench, probably best part of ten pound. Um, and they sort of give themselves away, really. They, they started blowing quite a lot, so that's mm. definitely a sign to look for. Um, like I say, rigs wise was all 0.6 gram, and I had like basically like a tapered sort of bolt, 09. Or was it 08? 08 or 09? I think it was 09. Size 20 hook and two dead maggots was by far the best bait, to be honest. Even like uh, over the uh, casters. Um, I did, did catch a couple of fish on worm, but I waited a real long time for bite. So, yeah, that was definitely my best bet, to be honest.
So after day one, me and Jace were fifth with six points. There was quite a few of us with six points, so all to play for. If you haven't already, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. It's free, doesn't cost you a penny, and then you won't miss any content. So this is day two. I've drawn peg six, so now obviously I'm fishing for carp. Um, I'm told this is a really good peg. It looks a good peg, to be fair. Uh, but again, I don't know it. And I've, I've basically caught quite well to begin with. Uh, only small carp, basically fishing a four minute spander. So I fished 014 straight through on a 4x12 rig, 16 hook, and a 1.8 elastic uh, through a, a match kit. Um, which was a good balance kit, never got broke up. And to be honest with you, I've pretty much caught all my fish on the same rig. Uh, I didn't catch it in the shallow water against the edges or against the far bank. I did have a few fish come into it, but they wouldn't settle on it. It's better to sort of catch in sort of like about two foot of water. So just on like the first sort of slope, same down the edge. I never caught tight against the balls. I catch about probably about a metre and a half of the bank. I didn't catch in the deep water very well. I sort of cut in some ground bait, what I learned from yesterday. It's going to loose feed past us over the top. Sure, and then loose feed. So I cup in ground bait in front of that bridge and catch like a few skimmers and some big tench, but that really didn't happen to be honest.
The first hour was all right, and then I really struggled without exaggerating for the next three hours. So this is a six hour match, a bit of focused breathing on my camera. Um, yeah, I was rotating lines, getting a bit frustrated, just felt my match was sort of like drifting away. Um, I frost this morning, fished yesterday, I don't know, it just, I don't know the venue so I can't really comment, but middle part of the match I really tried to put some fish together and I just did not which was very frustrating um, so yeah not 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 the best to be honest and the section being quite tight 107 pounds on my section um, and I had 94 pound didn't catch very many silvers probably only had about five pound of silvers so I had a couple of small tench and a couple of skimmers I think I had three skimmers and, and two very small tanks, so nice day, but a frustrating day. To be honest with you, I'm looking forward to going back. There's the results. So Graham Smith and uh, Mark Walsh won it with eight points. Martin, Rayner and Joe with nine points. Joe was a bit unlucky. He had 72 pound of silvers today, but unfortunately he went over in one of his nets by 14 ounce, so he lost the net. Chris Fox and Tom Thick were third. I believe we were, we had, me and Jace had 12 points. I think we might have been fourth or fifth. Anyway, take care. I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching.